In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite hair washing hacks for extreme hair growth at your hair washing station, at the shampoo bowl, at the kitchen sink, depending on where you live. Wherever you wash your hair, that is usually the make or break stage of your hair growth. And I feel like there's not enough information on how to properly wash your hair. So in this video, I'll be sharing over 20 hacks on that. If you don't know me, my name is Angelica. I post videos twice a week, every single week on Wednesdays and Sundays. So if that seems interesting to you, consider subscribing. Make sure you hit the bell as well if you'd like to get notifications every single time I post a new video. Let's get straight into the video and straight into the first point. Okay, so getting straight into it, my first tip is to wash your hair in sections. Now the amount of sections depends on how much hair you have, how long your hair is, but I would suggest at least a minimum of two sections as you saw in the beginning. I always wash my hair in four sections because I do have very thick hair and I need my hair to be extremely clean and I need my products to absorb perfectly and I need to know that there's enough in every single section. So I always section my hair into four but two is fine as well. The only reason it was in two in the beginning is because I was reverting from curly to straight if you haven't seen that video. That is why I wanted to saturate it first. And speaking of saturation, for the second point, you need to fully saturate your hair for as long as it takes for your strands to look and feel wet. Your hair just shouldn't look wet, it should feel wet. I'm using that Olaplex number no. 4 shampoo. It doesn't have to be this shampoo, you can use any shampoo you want. Making sure that your hair is fully saturated allows for the better absorption of every single product into your hair and it also allows for way, way better moisture for your hair to absorb the products way, way better. The third tip is to use very warm water, but it shouldn't be hot, just warm. And the reason you want to do this is because it opens your cuticle, it allows products to work to their maximum capacity because your follicles and your cuticles are open. Warm water also gets rid of dirt, buildup, grime. It also helps melt down any oils that are in your hair, which leads to you using way less shampoo than you would if you didn't use warm water. It also stimulates blood flow to your scalp, leads to less dryness, and it actually improves hair growth. It stimulates hair growth because that warm water naturally heats up your scalp. Don't use extremely hot water because this can cause damage to your cuticles and it can cause dryness and frizz. When it's time to use your shampoo, as I said, I'm using the Olaplex. Just use any moisturizing shampoo or bond building if you need it at that stage. But a moisturizing shampoo, even if it has sulfates, is the best way. You also want to always wash two to three times for the cleanest hair. And then the sixth tip is to always rub the shampoo between the palms of your hands for even distribution and for you to use less product because again that leads to less dryness and don't put the shampoo directly onto your hair strands you want to put it on your scalp you want to separate your hair shaft and then make sure that you put the shampoo on your roots and your scalp don't worry about your hair because your hair will be getting cleaner as you wash your hair and eventually your hair is going to just come out so much smoother not too dry because you use the adequate amount. You want to make sure that your hair is always held taut. This prevents tangling and it makes sure that you actually shampoo the most important parts of your hair, which is the roots. And then you want to work products into your hair in a dialed one motion as well. You also want to not add more shampoo to the rest of your hair shaft because as you can see here by my second wash, just the shampoo I put on the base is enough to lather up all the hair on the rest of my hair because it doesn't actually physically need tons of shampoo on the hair strands to wash that out. And then before you do your second or third wash, make sure that you wash out as much shampoo as possible so that your hair is accurately clean. Don't rub your hair in the opposite direction as well like this. Don't, that creates static, it creates damage. Don't scrunch your hair at your roots as well because that creates a lot of tangling and matting. Don't wash your hair like clothes as you saw here as well because that can lead to a lot of tangles, a lot of damage, single strand knots, split ends. You always want to wash your hair in a downward motion. It doesn't matter how long or short your hair is. Also, use the water pressure to rinse out the water. Use washer use the water pressure first to get out all the foam that's all over your hair and then go ahead and just squeeze the shampoo out and then run it down in a downward motion as well as i showed in the video you don't want to just continue 
ruffling and moving the hair around to get the shampoo out all you need to do is squeeze the hair and it will come out less manipulation less movement leads to less frizz less damage smoother hair shinier hair and just healthier hair all around and now when it's time to lather the front section First of all, in every single section, you should be lathering your hair only with the pads of your fingers. Do not use your nails. That can cause lots of micro tears on your scalp and it can cause a lot of damage to your hair. So please do not use your nails. And especially when you reach your hairline on your edges, you want to rub in gentle circular motions with the pads of your fingers as well. That is all you need to clean your scalp don't do too much work the shampoo has surfactants it's going to do the job it's supposed to do you don't have to do so much work to help it do its job and now when it's time to put in your conditioner or your deep conditioner moisturizer this all applies to the same what you want to do is fully saturate your hair again to make sure that those cuticles are nice and open and for the 18th tip you want to make sure that you apply your products which are not shampoos any of those products you want to apply them from the mid shaft down and not close to your roots because that can clog your scalp it can clog your follicles and that is something you actually don't want that is very very bad for your hair conditioner and deep conditioner is meant for your hair strands and not your scalp i notice a lot of people even massaging conditioners into your scalp it only clogs your follicles it does not do anything to help and because your hair is so wet whatever products you put like three quarters down your hair Eventually, especially during the detangling process with a wide tooth comb, it's going to work its way through the rest of the hair, so you don't have to worry about that. So when it is time to detangle, you want to make sure that you're detangling from the roots, I mean from the tips to the roots, just as you comb your hair when it is not in the shower. And then what my favorite thing to do is to twist my hair to force the product into my hair strands, especially if you have low porosity hair. This can really help you. Once you're putting the product in, you just want to twist your hair. And I just mean twist it like wrap it around itself. You don't actually have to put your hair in twists like I do. That is an optional thing. And then also when you're putting conditioner on, you want to make sure that you condition on the edges. Said I do apply every single product in four sections and depending on how much hair I have in that specific section, sometimes in the front, I'll even divide that into two just to make sure everything is evenly distributed. Now, like I was saying, I put my hair in these four twists. You don't have to. And then when I put this plastic bag or plastic cap on my head, I was just showing you there that you should always twist it on your forehead and not on your hairline because it is very easy to pick up pieces of your edges and twist them by mistake. So I went under heat for 20 minutes on this day because it's Olaplex, but for most other deep conditioners that are moisturizing or don't have any protein, I like to stay in for 30 to 40 minutes just to get the best absorption, especially because I have low porosity hair. And then now I come back in the shower and while my hair is nice and hot, I start to rinse the product out. And as you can see, my hair absorbed every single bit of this deep conditioner which shows that it is working well that's how conditioner should work when it's when you rinse it out you should literally not even be able to see the product because it is that absorbed into your hair if your hair still looks white and the product is still sitting on top it means it didn't absorb as well initially and now this part coming up is more like an optional stage this is what i always do when it comes to my leave-in so i go ahead and detangle with my tangle teaser in much smaller sections and my hair just absorbs the product way way better sometimes i seal with an oil sometimes i don't i didn't include that in this video because that is another optional stage but once i get the product into my hair i like to twist it now, if you don't want to twist your hair like mine in actual twists, you can just wrap it around itself to force the product in. Then you can let it go and just clip up the sections, but make sure that the sections are, you know, separated. And then at the end, once you've made sure that you've worked all the product into your hair evenly like I'm doing, then you can go ahead and decide if you want to either just leave the hair in the same like four large twists or you can just put it up in a bun so that you can go under heat so this might be too much work for you to put the hair in the twists if you're not actually going to dry it in the twist so now we're moving on to the front section where i use smaller sections so as you can see now even when i reach the front the sections become a, a little bit more in the back i only do i basically se separate my four sections into smaller sections so the section at the back i separate into two the sections in the front i separate into three because i do have more hair there 
and this also just makes sure that my ends are completely coated in product the ends are the oldest and most vulnerable part of your hair so you want to make sure that you focus a lot of products on your ends and your roots are the freshest and most healthy parts of your hair because that's the newest hair that you have and as you can see my hair just looks so healthy and so shiny but like I was saying you don't have to do this if you don't want to twist your hair like mine just wrap it around itself and then twist it in the sections and then once you reach the end and you reach your final section you can either let all the sections out or you can keep the hair in those like clips then go under a bag and this is a big game changer go under heat for 20 minutes with your leave-in conditioner and then you can let it out and you can do whatever you want with your hair whether you want to do a wash and go whether you want to just let it air dry you can do whatever you want with your hair and this will make a major difference now if you want more tips from me whether it comes to do with washing conditioning any other process in your hair journey let me know and i'll surely make a video on that i'm also due to make a new batch of rice water so i know i have tons of rice water videos but if you do want another rice water video from me please let me know and i'm definitely going to make one of those videos and before we get to my final tip when you are wrapping your hair underneath the cap or a plastic bag make sure that if you have to twist it to tighten it do it on your forehead and then push it back this will prevent you grabbing any hairs from your edges and causing any damage and that's just me with a little cap under the heat and we are done